This tutorial is about making shapes rotate on a parallelogram and it, it's closely related to the mechanism I showed in tutorial 58. Anyway, this one comes from a book called Ten in a Bed by Jill Gill. I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. And here it is. So as it opens, you can see all these creatures' feet rotating in the bed. Here's my experiment. The basic principle is there's a parallelogram. The uh, pinky one is a parallelogram. And then you've got a bar stuck underneath with a hole in it. There's a hub with an arm going through the hole in the bar. And that's got an image which will rotate. In my experiments, I was trying sticking the bar. Uh, this one is stuck to the spine, so it's sticking out this way. This one is stuck to the gully where the parallelogram joins the page. Anyway, then what I realized, it's nothing to do with where the red one, whether it's stuck to one end or the other. It's about the bar that's attached to the hub. As it opens, this one rotates anti-clockwise, and that's because the bar goes down through the hole. This one, as it opens, it rotates clockwise. That's because the bar comes up through the hole. So that's what dictates which direction it moves in, is whether the bar is going up or down through the holes. I'll just show you and you'll understand straight away. Here's the pieces I've prepared. This is the base. This is the parallelogram. So the one I've made, it's six centimetres wide. Between the major creases, it's 11 centimetres long. It's one and a half for a, this is a tab that's going to stick by, beside the base, uh, beside the spine. This is the total height of the parallelogram is this one and a half. That's the tab that's going to stick it to the base. Parallelograms are all explained in tutorial five. So this is really just something from tutorial five. So I'll stick this on first. The whole thing is just going to be uh, 1.5 centimetres from the spine. So you can see this is 1, 1.5 centimetres. Glue it up flush with the spine. And then being a parallelogram, you can stick the whole thing flat. I'm going to stick this in first. I've decided to go with keeping it just coming straight from the spine. And so if I look at where's that going to be, that's going to be like that when it's open. And then as this moves, so this will be in the same position as the base opens, opens and closes. The parallelogram is going to move. This looks like a good place. I'll stick it there. So it is actually hidden from view. The bar is stuck down and it's coming straight off the spine. So there you can see it's just attached straight to the spine. Here's the hub. Hubs are explained in tutorial 27. So it's a disc with two little arms that come through. So if you look at this one, you'll see the main body of the disc is on the top of the parallelogram. So that will be there. The two little arms go through that hole. There's the two arms. Now I've got a bar to make it all move. I've scored it down the middle, fold it really well, glue it shut to make it extra strong. This is going to glue onto the arms of the hub. It's going to glue like that and go through there. So that looks good. Before I did that, I should have just made sure it all moved really nicely. I might pull that off actually and just make sure that hub rotates okay. And yes, it does. So I can put this back on. So that's moving the hub. Now that bar goes through that. I uh, don't say I've made it too close. I think, it, think it's okay when it closes. Let's just see. 
but it's not not quite what I'd hoped. I think maybe actually I've made the um, that whole red strip is too long. It doesn't need to be any longer than that. Forgot to do the crease, clever me. Okay, this is driving me a little bit crazy, but I've had a look at it and worked out what the problem was. So it was that I was sticking the red piece too close to the hub and it all should move nicely, but the, the red piece needs to be a bit further away from the hub. I'd wanted it to be hidden under the parallelogram but because I'd made the hole in the parallelogram so central, that wasn't really possible. So I'll just start again at the very end bit, put the glue back on the tab on this red bar. And this time I'm sticking it down, lower down, so there's no danger of it clashing with the hub itself. I might even move it slightly further. There we are. So now when it's over like this. Let's see what happens now as we close it. Yeah, you can see the arm is moving the hub. Now I can glue shut the parallelogram, which should be parallelograms. It should be the whole thing should be able to be open when you stick it down. So I'll put glue on that end as well. Now let's try it. Yes, the hub is moving. So now we can just put an image on it, say a long blue one, a curly blue one. Which way is it going to go? It's going to go like that. So. Um, so it's closed, it's going to be coming up. Okay, let's put it on there. Close it. Now as you open it, it lifts up. We could put a, a yellow bit on the other side maybe. This is, this is, this is fairly terrible, there we are. Ideally, the purple would extend down and hide the red piece and it needn't come up quite so high here. It could have just been cut off there. Anyway, that gives you that type of movement. As it opens, it all moves anti-clockwise. If the bar, the red bar had been here, so the, the arm sticking down through this little hole, if that had been going up, then as you opened it, the whole thing would have moved in the other direction. That's it. 